Hi, my name is Toby, and I have a strange addiction. I'm not really ashamed of it, but I still know I need help. I don't want to end up getting sick. All my friends make fun of me because of my addiction, and my parents are so worried about it. Honestly, I doubt that you'll find it pleasant at all. It's kind of icky, but to me, it's the most fantastic thing ever. Let me tell you a bit more about how my strange fascination came to happen. I was really just a kid. At a young age, I had a knack for upsetting my parents. I would always put things in my mouth that didn't belong there. It was one of their biggest pet peeves. They would scold me all the time, and for some reason, I found it amusing. One day, I was playing with something in my pockets, and I realized it was lint. I was bored at school and began rolling it over my fingers inside of my pocket. I fiddled with it and loved how it felt over my fingertips. It was oddly recomforting and made the class far more entertaining. How could such a small ball of lint make me feel so much better? During the recess, I took it out of my pocket and gave it a long look. It was small and seemed so tempting. I knew I shouldn't put it in my mouth, but still, I did. Lint was absolutely delicious. I couldn't even believe how good it was. The best part was that it was completely free and I could get it just about anywhere I went. I began eating it every single day. I know what you must be thinking. That's so gross. <laughs> I know, I know. But believe me, it's about to get grosser. What can I say? I warned you I had a strange addiction. As I explained, at first, I just munched on lint and played with it until it turned into small balls I could roll over my fingers when I was bored. But soon, I actually started thinking of it as actual food. Like some kind of topping or condiment, if you will. I would put lint on just about everything and everything I ate. On fries, burgers, pasta, and of course on my favorite food of all time, pizza. I have to tell you that this freaked out my friends. They refused to have lunch with me, and whenever they saw me do it, they'd begin gagging. They called me all kinds of nasty words. The most common one was lint liquor, and it really stuck. Everyone at school began calling me that, and making up little chance to tease me with my moniker. I hated it, but honestly, I wasn't going to stop. I didn't think it was bad, even if it sounded gross, and people could be so blind to what others enjoy. Honestly, I took it all with good humor. I laughed along, and that made the bullying stop a bit. After all, it wasn't that much fun if I admitted it was a bit weird and didn't take it too hard. I knew they would never be able to understand my love for lint. I was obsessed with it. I spent my entire day thinking about eating a few handfuls, playing with it in my pockets, and making lots of tiny balls from it. I also searched for it obsessively. I carried a bag of lint that I collected from so many different places, it was like trying different types of meals. The drier lint was my favorite kind. Lint became my constant go-to relief from anxiety and stress. You know how some people go out for a smoke when they are worried and it relaxes them? Well, that was what lint did for me. While others took smoke breaks, I rolled a handful of lint out of my bag and munched on it happily. Everything was okay until I began getting sick. I decided to visit my doctor, and after doing some studies, he looked concerned. Apparently, eating lint was really bad for my health. He told me I have to quit, but I don't know how to. I was so sad after I heard that news. I've been doing this ever since I was a child, and now suddenly, it's terrible for me? Lint is what I think about every single day, and I can't imagine my meals without some lint toppings. I get nervous just thinking of being unable to roll it into tiny balls and munching on them while I work. Please don't judge me. I know I needed help, and I needed it fast. But I don't know where to start or what to do to finally overcome my obsession. My health is getting worse by the minute, and I'm afraid I'll end up getting really hurt. If I stop now, maybe I'll get healthy again. The doctor says he doesn't know what'll end up happening to my body if I keep this up, even a few more months. The effects could be devastating. Have you ever been addicted to something that others consider strange or dangerous? Let us know in the comments. If you have any advice on how to kick my lint-eating habit, I'd be so grateful. Don't forget to subscribe and check other videos on the channel.